Hello everybody, good evening. Yeah. Alright. So welcome to our fifth day of our webinars or our online Facebook webinars. Um, we together with my team from Sure Homes are doing this Facebook Live para ma-educate those that are interested to earn an investment and get part-time um, jobs as well. So, we are telling everyone or how we are doing the process at saka in-introduce din po namin sa inyo yung aming projects with Urban Deca Homes. So, ayan. Hi, Owen Isla! Hi, Kate! Good evening! Thank you for watching! Ayan. So, Let's get started. So, to, for today's topic, this is our fifth topic, we are going to discuss all about the benefits of living or investing in a condominium. Before we begin, let me introduce myself to you. Ako po si Jennifer Hisla. Uh, I'm a graduate of education from Philippine Normal University. I, I am a preschool teacher. I used to be a preschool teacher and I have taught preschool for five years. And then after five years, I had to transfer to a BPO company. I am a full-time employee from a BPO company. I have been uh, an employee of them for more than 13 years now. So, I have stayed with that company for that long. While doing my full-time job, I am also doing a part-time real estate salesperson. So, we started way back 2014 uh, when we learned about the opportunity for when we got our first investment for an income investment. And then... Yun, we started doing real estate na from then hunting hanggang ngayon. So, full-time and then a part-time job, no? Uh, we're with Sure Homes, Sure Homes Realty. And that realty is the one who is helping us become who we are right now. Ayan. So, hi, Teacher Racy. Kamusta, classmate? Thank you for watching my live. So, um, balikan ko lang yung mga topics natin na na-discuss mga na previous days. So, yung mga episodes natin, nung, nung first episode natin is yung Who is Urban Deca Homes? So, pinakilala namin ang history niya, saan, siya, saan ba siya nagsimula, ano yung background niya, at saka yung mga iba-ibang projects niya. Hi, Miss Jenny! Thank you for watching my live. So, yan, pinakilala namin Who is Urban Deca Homes. Tapos, yung day two naman na, we introduced, namili kami ng isang project out of so many projects na Urban Deca Homes. And we chose sa Urban Deca Homes Ortigas. Ayan, so si Urban Deca Home Ortigas is nasa Pasig siya. It's a 30 billion project with 1.3 um, hectares. Overall kasi 13 hectares yung buong project niya. And then, the next naman, the next day we educated the people kung ano yung mga details naman ng mga units in Urban Deca um, Ortigas. Yan. Ano yung itsura niya, ano yung sizes niya, ano yung prices niya. Hi, Maring Ayesa. Thank you for joining my Facebook Live. Lud, Mars, I miss you, Bax. I will see you soon. Yan. And then, on our fourth day, so uh, we had a process of making it very easy for our clients na maka-reserve ng units nila. So, we had an online reservation process. So, lahat po ng mga previous episodes natin, we will be putting it din sa description um, page la later on. So, yan. But for today, we're gonna talk about lahat ng what's the benefit of um, doing, or sorry, the benefit of living and investing in a condominium unit. So, here's a, just a little thought coming from Ro Robert Arnold. See, he says that in investing, what is comfortable is rarely profitable. Please forgive my, my baby doggy right here. Medyo, ano siya? Gusto niya makisali sa Facebook Live natin right now. So, sabi niya ni Robert Arnott, kung ano yung comfortable for you, minsan 
hindi naman talaga tayo nagpa-profit from it. Example is comfortable for us right now na nasa bahay tayo. It's very comfortable for us to watch um, dramas or teleseries, k-dramas and movies on Netflix or, or recorded and nag-download tayo. It's very comfortable nasa kama tayo, nasa sofa tayo, nasa, nasa labas tayo ng bahay. But does it give us any profit at all? Do we earn anything from that? So that's just a little something for you to think about. So let's go ahead and talk about why invest in a condominium. So here's a couple of uh, benefits in living in a condominium unit. Of course, the first one is a long-term benefits. May iniisip natin. Unang-una, when you live in a condominium, you have a less costly maintenance. Kasi you will have already yung mga, uh, mga maintenance natin that they clean your hallway, they clean um, your security, ayan. So, they clean your surroundings. So, halos lahat yon it's all provided for by the condominium. Of course, you will have amenities. So, most of the condominiums, they already have a, a clubhouse. Kapag sa bahay, bongga siguro yung house ninyo kung meron kayong clubhouse, no? Ayan. So, meron kayong mga, mga park. So, kung may mga bata kayo, syempre, mas maganda yung may mga, may mga park, may mga playground. Ayan. Kung yung house natin is probably ganun din talaga kalaki, possible talaga na maglagay tayo ng mga clubhouse, magkalan tayo ng playground. But for condominium, it's already provided for with that. Affordability, definitely, having a condominium is way cheaper than getting a house and lot. Especially here in Metro Manila, it is very rare that you get to have a house and lot at an affordable price. So, yung mga properties, mostly na house and lot within Metro Manila, lalo na yung mga near the central business districts, is mga nagkakas tayo ng 4 million, 5 million, and above. Swerte na, pag nakakuha ka ng 5 million, you let me know, baka I'll be interested with that as well. Okay? And then, of course, the appreciation value of a condominium. When you first get a condominium or at a pre-selling state, so mura pa. It's very, very affordable when you get a pre-selling. And then as years go by, tataas yung value niya, yung appreciation, appreciation value. Kung yung dati nating um, condominium, it's worth 2 million Pwede siya maging 4 million, 5 million. By personal experience, yung dating condominium na 900,000, which is located along EDSA, 2016, it's 900,000. Nag-end ng 2019, we are close to 2 million, 1.9 million na siya. So, ganun yung appreciation value niya. And of course, most of the condominiums are strategically located like especially with the urban deca homes or tigas yan we are strategically located um, in east or tigas so malapit sa makati malapit sa galleria malapit sa mega mall ayan mga isang sakay lang yan so it's most of the condominium it's placed strategically para makapunta ka ng madali sa mga sa location mo sa work mo having a tight security is one of the advantages as well of living in a condominium ayan hi Miss Regine Mamarites hello po Ninang Mel good evening po sa inyo dyan ayan so yung living in a uh, condominium, you will have a tight security. Example, in where we are living right now, we have three paths bago ka makapunta. Yung main, main guard, tapos we have two guards dun sa mismong building, plus may roving pa. So, sobra yung security dito sa mga condominiums. And the same goes with urban deca homes. We have a top guard na Kung hindi mo yun building or hindi mo yun floor, you will not be able to use it. So, yung mga sa kabilang building, they will not be able to use your your card to gain access to your floor or to your building. 
Plus, have living in a condominium will definitely give you a bigger space. Most of the condominiums right now, they have uh, green areas or open spaces. Um, Diyan ko din maipagmamalaki ang Urban Deca Homes Ortigas because we have 10% was allocated just for the open space, just for the greens, just for the community of Urban Deca Homes to go outside and experience the sun, experience the wind. Dahil most of our living days ngayon, we work at the office, so naka Enclose lang tayo sa office, tapos uwi tayo sa bahay, dun lang tayo sa kwarto. So, with Urban Deca Homes or Tigas, it's 1.3 hectares of open greens. Ayan, so here are some benefits of uh, property investment. So, why condominium is a great investment? Definitely, um, you can have a passive income. So, it depends kung ano ang purpose ninyo for buying the house. So, ang, kung ang purpose ninyo is buying a house for an income or as an investment, then you can definitely gain passive income. Growth potential, of course, you will have yung appreciation value ng market ninyo, yung, yung unit, ng, value ng unit ninyo, so ayan, tataas din siya. Tapos, we also have TLG yan, hello po, good evening, Sir Aljon, good evening, Ricky, ganda, hello, thank you for watching, ayan mga, mga friendables natin, thank you for watching the live, so I hope you stay with us until the end of the live, tapos if you're free also, you can please share to, our, to the groups that you have, ayan. So, next naman natin is yung stability. So, living in a condominium will definitely give you stability for the rest of, say for example, our project, we have at 25 years in-house financing. So, that's the maximum, no? So, yung, yung monthly amortization natin, you can plan yourself, your finances, your future for the next 25 years. Kasi we are unlike others that has um, paiba-ibang monthly payment scheme, paiba-ibang um, amortization scheme. So, with Urban Deca Homes, for the next 25 years, you can plan ahead. Ah, so, pag after ko ng 5 years, tat, syempre, every year, tumataas naman yung sweldo ko. After 5 years, I could probably get a new car. O, dahil tumaas naman yung sweldo ko, I can probably get another investment. Or, for the next 25 years, or another 5 years, I can plan ahead and say, hmm, Enough na yung budget ko for me to get married. So, that's yeah, very stable. Of course, we are uh, predictable. Uh, living in a condominium gives us an, a knowledge that if you are strategically located, you can definitely say na, my clients o yung mga bed spacers ko, yung mga Airbnb ko, yung mga short-term rentals ko, they can come from yung mga contact center natin dyan, yung mga nagtatrabaho natin sa BPO, yung mga nagtatrabaho natin sa Central Business District. So, alam natin, malalaman natin, kikita ba ako dito sa sa bibiling kong unit na to? And of course, if you don't do naman ng mga rentals, this, there's an increasing value. So, from the day that you buy your your unit, Especially if you buy it an early stage, talaga we highly recommend you buy it at an early stage kasi definitely sobrang mura niya as to compare pag lalo na yung paggawa na yung sa buong area, sobrang taas na nang itataas ng value yan. We have uh, another property na from 2 million namin siya nakawa natayo lang yung structure, 4 million na ngayon, so halos doble na yung, yung property na yon Hindi pa yung tayo, ah. hindi pa siya gawa fully. So, just imagine how it will be kapag ka naitayo na talaga siyang kompleto. So, here's just a little statistics that we have. So, ang sabi ng statistics natin, 69% households are renting or they prefer to rent their homes. Imagine, 69% of the household are renting or they simply prefer to rent their homes. Um, we ourselves, we started as rental renters. Um, matagal kami nag-rent, 
sa Makati kasi we were working in Makati before. So, nag-rent kami sa Makati. And then, we came to a decision na yung convenience ng binabayaran namin sa rent, kasi mababa lang yung rent eh, versus ilalaban ba namin yung medyo masakit sa bulsa na rent to own. Kasi titirahan na namin kagad yun eh. Lilipat na agad eh. So, rent to own. In future, in 10 years, in 15 years, is sacrifice ko ba yung nagre-rent ako versus sa akin na yung property. And ito, sa awa ng Diyos, it's just a couple of months, fully paid na namin yung first rental, or first investment namin na condominium. So, di ba, ganun, noong una talaga, sobrang hirap. But, but we have decided, nope, stop na to. We have to put a stop on rental. Dapat na tayong mag-start ng investment natin. And so, yun. And then, you have 31% naman daw ng owners are rental properties are owned by investors. So, yung most of those naman that they own ay pinapa in investment, pinaparentahan, or they use it for a different purpose. Ayan. So, just a little for that. So, how do you, how property yields profit? Ayan na. So, sabi ko kanina, may, 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 may pera sa investment when you buy a condominium. So, here, of course, you can have rental income. You have long-term incomes, you have short-term incomes, and you have bed space rentals. So, it depende. It's all up to you as you are the unit owner. Kung ano ang gusto mo, pwede ka mag-short-term, long-term bed space. Nasa sa'yo yan. Pwede ka rin mag-buy and sell. Marami kaming clients that they buy it ng mura, and then they sell it at a high price. So, example, yung building namin na isa, 900,000 lang siya nabili, and then nabenta niya siya ng 2 million. So, sobrang income ng generating niya. Gano lang siya nag-antay? 4 years. 4 years lang siyang nag-antay. Pinataas niya lang yung value, and then, ayun nakuha niya na more than doble ng nailabas niya. And of course, it can be a mix of rental. So, habang pinapataas mo pa yung value yung property mo, pagkakitaan mo na rin. Paupahan na rin natin. So, that's a mix of both. It depend it will all depend on you. Here is a sample of possible income that you can get for uh, in this kind of investment. Na? So, for long-term income, let's say, for example, you are renting your two-bedroom bare unit. Two-bedroom bare unit example, 15,000 ang paupa mo sa kanya. Wala laman, wala ka nilagay as is yan kung paano tinurn over sa'yo, yan na yun. Imagine you getting 15,000 every month. Parang kumikita ka na rin, ba? Additional income na mo na rin siya. Hindi na siya masama. So, kung nagbabayad ka ng amortization, say, 20,000 ang amortization mo, 5,000 na lang kada buwan ang ilalabas mo. But, the net profit o yung net asset sa'yo mapupunta. Not bad, ba? Next, short-term rental. Ito, favorite ko to as we ourselves, yan, itong mga to, we have experienced this firsthand. So, yung short-term rental din, ayan. So, example, you do a short-term rental, yan, yung mga Airbnb natin, yung mga pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong short-term daily, ayan. So, example, doing your two-bedroom unit at 2,500 per night. Sabihin na natin, Sa, sa loob ng isang buwan, may mga araw na hindi ka na book patay. Yung five days. Or, gusto mo ikaw yung gagamit noon or pinagamit mo sa friends mo, sa family mo, yung other five days. You only have 25 days. So, 2,500 times 25 nights, 62,500. Sabihin mo nang i-minus mo pa dyan yung monthly amortization mo at na, na 20, 20 something thousand, kuryente mo, um, um, tao mo na maglilinis, I think you still have too much, more than enough na sobra as an investment or income for your short-term rental. 
And then of course, lastly, you can have it as a bed spacer. So ito yung nasa picture natin is an example of an investment, no? Of a two bedroom unit ng Urban Deca Homes or Tigas ayan. Naglagay yung owner ng um, dalawang bunk bed per room. So the two bedrooms kasi yan eh. So yan. And she's leasing it at 4,000 per bed space. So meron siyang 8 na spaces currently. So, meron siyang 32,000 a month. So, yung coverage ng monthly amortization, tsaka yung mga ibang gastos, wala na rin siyang nilalabas. Diyan na rin ang gagaling sa investment. Pero still, the asset or the net asset value is still your asset value. Kasi ikaw sa'yo nakapangalan yun eh. So, those are the some of the uh, possible profits that you can gain when you do a rental income. Napakadali hong um, parentahan ng mga condominium units ngayon because we have a lot of um, workforce, yung mga employees natin that may mga bahay talaga sila, may malalaki sila mga bahay, may mga bahay sila sa mga provinces, nearby provinces or malalayo. Pero dito sila sa Metro Manila naka nagwo-work or naka-base. So, instead of them renting, kumuha na sila ng mga ganyang property nila. So, tayo as mga unit owners, yung pagkuha natin ng mga tenant, napakabilis. Actually, um, yung units sa, namin sa Urban Deca Homes Towers, labas ng isang kliyente, literal, on the same day, transfer kami ng owner. So, every year, ganun kami. Pero yung isang unit kasi naman namin doon, ano siya, tuloy-tuloy lang, renew lang ng renew yung owner. Kasi yung, ay, yung, yung tenant, yung tenant kasi naman doon, he's doing it for business. So, imagine mo, nagre-rent siya, pero he's doing it for business, yung Airbnb, pinapa-Airbnb niya. So, covered na yung rental niya, pero may income pa rin siya. So, diba? Sobrang ganda, sobrang laking investment din. Uh, kita, when you're doing rental. So, here's just a quick check for you, for us to know if you are ready for your investment. So, syempre, we don't want you to just, ay, hindi, sige, Jen, um, kuha na ako, bilhin na ako dyan, maganda yan, magandang pagkakitaan yan. Pero, also, have a self-check first. Are you ready for a property investment? Handa ka na bang to take on the responsibility of being an adult? Ayan. So, visualize yourself living in a condominium. Ayan. Ganyan na itsura. Or having this space leased for a short-term rental or for a long-term rental. So, it will all depend on you. So, the things that you need to check first is, of course, do you have a reliable cash flow? So, una, especially if you got the project ng short term, ah, sorry, ng pre-selling, from the time na hindi pa siya, ay nabili mo siya hanggang hindi pa siya nata turnover sa sa'yo, enough ba yung budget mo or yung extra, extra budget mo for that? So, example, ngayon, March, ay, sorry, April na pala. So, ngayong April, so, kasi turnover ng Urban Deca Ortigas sa December eh. So, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, enough ba yung extra budget mo hanggang ma-turnover sa'yo yung unit? Hanggang mapaupahan mo or tirahan mo? So, that's a question you can ask yourself. Also, do a research. Ano bang meron dito sa project na to, sa condominium na to? Ask a specialties, an expert of that project. In that same case, you can ask, you can message us, me, my team. You can message us kung anong meron dito for further details. And of course, you have to define ano bang goals mo financially. Are you satisfied on living, ano yun sabi nila? You only live once. So, gas! Pera ko ngayon, I only live once, I'll spend it all. Or, do you see yourself no longer working after a certain year? So, depende yan. It depends on you. Anong decision mo. So, here's the uh, stages on how you can prepare 
for an investment. Una, of course, ready ka na ba? Ready na ba ako financially? Do I have an extra 10,000 for the next 9 months? Ayan, kasi 10,000 10, yung cash out nung, or ang down payment tungkol ba ka Ortigas for the next, ano eh, um, 9 months eh. So, yan. So, investment strategy, ako ba yung titira dito? So, ano ba yung masisave ko kapag ako yung tumira dito? So, una, hindi na ako mamamasahe yung oras na nasasayang ko sa traffic. Kunyari, na, na, sa isang biyahe mo, 2 hours ka, papunta ang pisina, pabalik mo, 2 hours ka. So, 4 hours, nawawala sa sa biyahe. Convert mo yung sweldo mo sa 4 hours na nawawala sa'yo. Ayan. So, ask that yourself. Paparentahan ko ba siya? Is this for a rental business? So, paparental mo siya, di maganda. Or, ibabay and sell ko ba siya? Bila ko ngayon, benta ko after a few years. Bila ko ngayon, benta ko after a few years. Yan. So, on different target market naman natin, for rentals, or for buyers, then this goes the same. You can have employees, because Urban Deca Homes or Tigas, malapit siya sa Libis eh. Sang jeep lang siya sa Libis. Malapit siya sa Tchendesitas, malapit siya sa Ortigas. Ayan, mga employees, sa mga students, mga bagong kasal. Yan. So, syempre, yung ibang bagong kasal, hindi pa rin masyadong prepared. Pero, ngayon, madami na yung clients namin ng mga, ang mga engaged na, na interested na, na nagsisipagkuha na at a very young age. Very interesting talaga yung mga kabataan ngayon. Um, domestic partners, ayan. Your growing family. You have to consider that. And then, yung mga investors, ayan. Yung mga different target market natin yan. Are they wanting to do the business? Per mission, may, may buyers tayo dyan. Per floor, ang bilihan or per building, ayan. And then, of course, the property criteria. Studio ba is enough for you and your family? Kung kayo yung titira noon. Is one bedroom enough for you, yung space for you and your family? Two bedroom or three bedroom? So, ask yourself these kinds of question when you do that. Okay, so those are just a couple of tips that we can provide to you. And um, we have an online reservation process. Should you be interested, we will link the project specifics and project details later on in this recording. Tapos, if you need to get in touch with me, you can just send me a text or a call on my mobile number, 0917-813-5219. That's our uh, mobile number. And then, my email address. Yan, you can also email me. Pero faster, it's really faster. If you message me through Facebook, for Instagram, we also have a YouTube channel and a Twitter. So, you can all look for that, or Bandeka Homes. And of course, my personal Facebook, um, DN Isla. Ayan. So, before I let you go, I just would like to leave a, a quick note in here for you, all of you guys. So, coming on a uh, quote from Andrew Carnegie, it says, 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. 90% of all millionaires become so through owning a real estate. I just would like to share that I have I have a client. Um, una ko siyang nakilala. She was a, a manager uh, on a BPO company. Tapos, ang kwento is, nagbe-bed space lang siya in one of the mga paupahan. Tapos, nung nakita niya yung ano daw, sabi niya ganyan, Uy, par maganda palang negosyo tong ganito, no? Tong paupahan. So, she decided to rent a space of her own. Yung bahay na kinuha niya, malahma, medyo mataas, parang 25,000 yata per month. Pero, halos, kinonvert niya yung rooms into rentals. So, nung nagkaroon na siya ng, uh, ng idea for rentals, iniwanan niya yung corporate job niya, nag-invest nag siya na nag-invest sa re real estate, Ngayon, she is a part uh, partner owner of mga, hindi ko nilang papangalanan, but it's a short-term um, rental here in the Philippines. So, malakihan siya. Marami kayong makikita ganyang color red 
So, isa siya sa mga partner non dito sa Philippines. So, sobrang dami niyang projects. Meron siya, meron siya sa Manila, meron siya sa Ed, sa Mandaluyong, meron din siya sa Ortigas. So, ganun siya. Sobrang dami niyang property. So, imagine yung doing na, she's doing very well on her corporate job. Tapos, now he is a monthly yata, parang nasa more than 1 million ang kinikita niya every month. And who wouldn't want that? Right? So, with that, I would just like to say thank you for staying and watching my live. A huge shout out again to our frontliners out there. Maraming salamat for doing a good job keeping those coronavirus aware and keeping those Filipino at home para hindi na natin mas spread pa yung virus. We thank you so much. Kudos sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. And for any questions, do let me know. Let's Start your investment journey. Again, my name is Jennifer Isla. Good night and thank you so much for watching.